welcome to another video from ExplainingComputers.com. This time we're going to take a look at this, the Radsa Zero 3W. This is a quad-core zero form factor single board computer with a number of different RAM and onboard storage options. So let's go and take a closer look. Right, here we have our Radsa Zero 3W, which has 2GB of RAM, 16GB of onboard EMMC flash storage, and which I purchased from Allnet for $33. Their models range from a 1GB variant with no EMMC and a GPIO header for $19, up to an 864 board for $68. Just to confuse matters, OKDo OK and RS also sell the same boards, but call them the Rock Zero 3W. So, for example, on OKDo, OK our 2GB RAM, 16GB EMMC board costs £32.70, including taxes. But regardless, let's open up our exciting new single board computer. Just take it out that uh, wrapper like that, open up a little box. There we are, it's in an anti static bag. It seems to be sort of sealed, but easy to open. No tools required on this occasion. Let's get it out the uh, bag. There we are, our new single board computer. I always like opening up a new single board computer. And clearly this is a competitor to a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, of which I've got one over here. This is a rather rare board. Well, as we can see, if we flick around to the same orientation, one of the differences is we have got USB-C ports on there RAD to Zero 3W rather than the micro USB on the Pi model. And the other big difference is that compared to the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, this board is actually available. You can buy different variants of the uh, RAD to Zero 3W. We still can't find a uh, Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, which is a, a great shame. Anyway, let's turn our attention to uh, this board here. And at the heart of the board, we have a Rockchip RK3566 system on a chip with four ARM Cortex-A55 cores clocked at up to 1.6 GHz, as well as an Armali G522EE GPU. To one side of the SoC, we then find our low-power DDR4 RAM, here 2 GB, and on the other side is a wireless module that offers Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.4. Next to this, there was then both an onboard antenna and also an antenna connector. And according to Radsa's documentation, these are selectable via software. Turning to the front edge, we find a micro HDMI connector that supports 1080p at up to 60 frames a second, as well as USB-C connector that offers USB 3.0 host connectivity. And then there's also a second USB-C connector, and this one can be used to power the board, although it also offers USB 2.0 data transfer for programming the EMMC. Finally, on the top here, we find a 40-pin color-coded GPIO header, although do note that not all models of Radza 3.0 come with a populated header. It just depends on the version of the board that you purchase. If we turn the board over, underneath there are a few exciting things. Not least, we find our EMMC flash storage here, 16 gigabytes. And we also have here a micro SD card slot and a CSI, a camera serial interface connector for connecting a camera to the board. And then finally, down here, we've got a tiny switch. This is a mask ROM button, and this is used when programming the EMMC flash storage. And so there we are the Radsa Zero 3W, a very promising piece of hardware, clearly competing with a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, but offering USB 3 connectivity, onboard EMMC, and significantly more RAM. Finally, it's worth noting that Radsa will soon also sell a Zero 3E, which is identical to a Zero 3W, except that it's got a gigabit ethernet port rather than the wireless module and has no EMMC options. And for good measure, there's also going to be a dedicated power over Ethernet or PoE hat. It's all very exciting, although right now it is the 03W that's actually available. So let's go and see how this board performs. 
Right, I've now got everything connected up, so let's turn on the power. Here we go, and we'll do this boot in real time so you can see how quickly the Radsa 03W actually boots up. Oh, and we now have something on the screen. Things are definitely happening. And we're booting into Debian Bullseye with an XFC desktop. And uh, this is an image for the same provided by Radsa. And I'll say a bit more about it in a second. Anyway, we now need to log in. The default is Radsa for the username and Radsa for the uh, password as well, like that. Those are the defaults. This is not my first boot. I have gone in and made a few scaling changes so things read better on video. But uh, hopefully in a second we will arrive on the desktop. It's exciting, isn't it? Watching this little board boot up into a desktop Linux distro. I know some people will say, Chris, no one will use a desktop distro on a board like this, but it's available, so I want to show you that it works. And uh, it's not too bad. It's reasonably responsive. This obviously isn't the most powerful system in the world. But if we open up, for example, a file manager like that, there we are, it's a uh, thing that things are working, as you can see. I don't think we've got a GPU acceleration on this desktop though. If we go to the menu, you'll see it's a little bit laggy. In fact, it's uh, very laggy, as you can see there, but there's uh, things are working. There's not too much pre-installed. We get down to settings, there's lots of settings for XFCE, etc. Few accessories, something in development, a couple of browsers, small bit of multimedia stuff, but basically this is a minimal distro you can do with what you wish. So let's go to internet and launch the uh, Chromium browser, see what's going on there. Again, we'll do this in real time so you can see how well this works. And uh, there we are. It's not my default browser, I don't care, go away. Why does software insist on doing things like that? Anyway, as you can see, we're on the uh, web page for the uh, Radsa 03W. And if we uh, scroll down here, we get to a download section which is where we logically go to find an operating system. And here, as you can see, we've got Debian and Ubuntu server. Well, if we click on Debian, it takes us to a page out on GitHub, which has got various download options. Come on, there we are, it is working. And if we look down here, you'll see there are four operating systems available from Radsa for the board. There is Debian XFCE desktop, that's the one we're currently running, which as you can see, this is the officially supported, tested and recommended OS for most users, that's obviously why I'm running this. We also have a CLI version, and then we also have Ubuntu available with a desktop or without, but it does say this is provided as is, except for critical issues. We certainly aren't intending to use that, and that's why I'm running Debian. This said, if we scroll down here, you'll see the actual images we can download, which logically would be this one here, Debian Bullseye XFC desktop, and this is image B3. And if you use image B3, it works, but you don't get any Wi-Fi. And if you go up here, you'll see we have got Wi-Fi. We're obviously online. That's how we're online using Wi-Fi. And so I had to search around a bit to make this work. And the first thing I did was to go to, I went to the OKDo OK software hub. Remember, OKDo OK sell this board as the Rock 03W. And if we just go to their site like this, you will see here are their software images for the various Rock boards. And if we go down to, uh, there is it, 0. 3W, same images we just saw, the B3 images, so that doesn't get you anywhere. But fortunately, I managed to find, going around various places searching around, I got to this forum post, which will come in, I'm sure. Come on, forum post, you can arrive and show us your lovely self. Is it going to get there? Yes, it is. Here we are. And this is clearly a forum post about working images. And down here, there is a link somewhere. There it is to build B4, and that's the one we're currently running. I don't know why that isn't listed on the other pages, but it's the one that works, including a Wi-Fi uh, on this board. And in terms of what it can do, you might be interested to see if we go to bookmarks again, and we go to the GPU internals for Chromium, or Chrome, you'll see in a second, here we are, we have got some hardware acceleration here. And this is pretty, Typical of what we get with software from Radsa for their boards. They're pretty good at supporting hardware acceleration for the GPU in the browser rather than the desktop. That's the right way around. I think I'd much rather have it in the browser than the desktop. I've got to have a choice. And so that looks fairly reasonable. And therefore you might be thinking, can this board play a YouTube clip? So I guess we have to try. 
And again, people say you wouldn't buy a board like this to play YouTube, but it's just interesting to see what it can do. So let's go to my sample clip and I'll speed on through till the clip is playing. There we go. And boy, did it take YouTube a bit of time there to go full screen. But uh, now it has, we can see there are drop frames, quite a lot of drop frames, but playback isn't too bad here in a 1080p, certainly much better than I would have expected. Massively better than you get, for example, on a on a Raspberry Pi Zero board. This is a this is not bad. This is actually watchable YouTube on a zero form factor single board computer. I'm rather impressed with that. So uh, there we are. That's definitely a, a positive, if with some drop frames, but a positive for the uh, Radsa Zero 3W. Anyway, let's come out of that now. Now we've now we've got there. We'll say goodbye like that because I want to go to the terminal. Let's go to the terminal down there. There is our terminal because right now we're booting this operating system from a micro SD card. We do have EMMC on the board, but the easier way to install an operating system is to a micro SD card. However, if I do an LSBLK to list block devices like that, we can see we do have on this system the 16 gigabyte micro SD card we're booted from and EMMC flash storage. It does look a little bit like there's something on that, doesn't it? But I uh, don't know what there is and why we've got these two little partitions there. But anyway, nothing, nothing boots from it. So uh, there we are. So at the moment, we're running from micro SD card. I'd like to see if I can get this board to boot from EMMC. I'm not sure I can, and I've been searching around to try and find a way to do it. So I will go and have an experiment, and I'll come back to you after that. Greetings. Here I am back again a few days later, having spent many hours trying and failing to install an operating system on the EMMC flash storage here on the rad to zero 3W. And if we go across to Windows, here we are in a browser. These are some of the instructions available from rad -Zero. There's lots of documentation here, I just can't find any that helps me out. We have to use something called the RK development tool, as you can see. We install that as well as a driver tool. That's all installed and run no problems at all. And then we get to use this tool to, in theory, put an image onto the device. And I've got that running. Here it is. This is in Chinese, but the instructions on the website are fortunately in English. And in theory, what you do is to hold down the mask ROM button on the board and then plug it into your computer. And then you can use this software to image across to the MMC. And what we need to do is have both an operating system image, and I've got one of those, that's the Debian bullseye image I've been using for the micro SD card, but we also need a bootloader file. And that's where I'm stuck. I can't find a bootloader file for the RADS 0 3W. I can find one for other RADS boards, but not the 3W. And therefore, at this point anyway, I'm admitting defeat in getting an operating system to run from the EMMC storage on the RADS 0 3W. So let's go across to Debian running still from a micro SD card on the board. And I realized I hadn't shown you HTOP running on it in the last segment. So uh, here's HTOP running along. You can see uh, what HTOP showed us, memory use, etc. Just thought you might find that interesting. I know some of you always do. So we'll, uh, I've shown you that now and then I'll uh, get rid of it like that. And uh, I also thought it'd be worth just testing the speed of the drives on the system. So uh, I've set up first of all to test the speed of the micro SD card. So, uh, Let's do that. Let's see what kind of speed we get here. Very exciting. Oh, it's doing its stuff. Come on, give us a number. There we are, 64-ish megabytes a second. That's not too bad for a micro SD card on a single board computer. But you cry, what is the speed of that EMMC flash storage that so far Chris has failed to install an operating system on? Well, let's just put that in like that and run the test again. And there it goes. What do you think? It should be faster. The question is, how much faster? And uh, there we are. Oh, 161 megabytes a second. Significantly faster. So when it is possible to put an operating system onto the MMC storage on this board, it should be a lot more fluid. But uh, there we are for now. That is the end of this test. I don't always get things working, but I do hope to run an operating system from the MMC flash storage on this board in the future. The Radsa 03W is one of several zero form factor single board computers to have launched in the past few months. 
with another being this, the Orange Pi Zero to W, which we'll take a look at in our next single board computer review. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon. Oh,